let's get the let's get this intro rolling we've got a lot of grinding to do today what's up buddies welcome back to another episode of the leeds united simulation only career mode we are i'd like to say we're getting to the tail end of the season we're not i think we're just barely past the midpoint of the season but things are going incredibly well if you see the team there i mean there are a few spoilers there if you're not keeping up with the series these are up every 24 hours at, at around 8 a.m. If you're not keeping up with the series, then I don't think it's necessarily going to be my fault that there are some spoilers in the team. Uh, that's what the squad is looking like nowadays in terms of growth, development, um, and doing well. We've sold off some players. Uh, we've cashed out on some players. You notice, of course, I mean, mainly if you're a Leeds fan, you'd notice uh, some of the players that have been shifted out from the club. We've got academy players developing very, very well and being brought into the team. Hopefully going to get some cup games at the very least with them. Um, I've been seeing a lot of your guys' posts within the comment sections as well. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but apparently before you go into the day's training, whatever team you have as the focal point is the team, the majority of the players that get put into the training. A few of you guys have said, if you want to start working on, uh, the academy players, et cetera, et cetera, you really want to think about starting this team before you go into it. So that is exactly what we're going to do. Now, what I would like to do first is actually start with a good bunch of, um, the main academy beasts so shields doesn't need game time i don't think jack harrison really needs game time um melier's all good bd do we put bd maybe even because capril we're looking at selling right Vanda bosch maybe as well It'd be good to get him in there somewhere where do we get him in though lorente koch Maybe Stroik instead of Lorente too. What do you guys think? I actually do think that'd be a little bit better. All right, let's go Van de Bosch here. Uh, Gelhard, Greenwood, Pavetta all on low sharpness, which probably means we're going to get smashed, aren't we? I think I'm going to go Stroik instead of uh, Lorente too. Lorente is a bit injury prone, and I'm, I'm concerned about losing him, so let's do that. Believe it or not, as much as he's not played well so far this year, Robin's actually going up in rating very very nicely so his development continues and all right so i think that's the team we're gonna start against um oh you know what actually before i even do that let me also make sure our actual setup is good Pavetta, greenwood uh, greenwood's not i not ideal let's be real um dallas we got to bring back here why does everything get so screwed up though uh van de bosch maybe goes there DeVries. I don't know, man. You know what? Maybe we do this. And then instead of Greenwood, we bring in Bosman. Would that be a bit nuts to do? Instead of Griezmann, we bring in Bosman. I think he enjoys being a cam. Right? Yeah, we just converted him into a cam too, didn't we? There you go. Let's try that. Let's try that. Kyungmin's son with a chance too. Wow. Watching IRL football at the same time as well, boys. So apologies. We're going to be a little bit distracted. But there is the cup team. We've got an FA Cup draw against Wolves. We're going to use the cup squad. Not really too worried. We're into round five. So I'm okay with that. We're In terms of what we're achieving for the club right now, board expectations are super, super happy. I actually think the only thing we haven't achieved here is the five clean sheets yet. And um where is it premier league table mid finish no which one is it is this the critical one there you go so we've done the round of 16 stage current stage round of 16 so we've achieved that already so i'm not too worried beyond that in terms of the cup i'd rather focus on the actual season of course Ooh, clicky wants to play hmm been playing pretty well you know what um I guess I'll just say I'll think about it, and I actually will put him in there. Captain C for the Wolves fixture, sure. So you know what? Yeah, let's include Cleeky in the setup. He's obviously not in the starting eleven, anyways. So what do we? Ah, oh, what do we do here? Can we slide Devries here? It doesn't seem. He seems to be okay to play at Cam. I mean, I genuinely do believe he'd be a very, very good Cam. 
Uh, so Bosman can be a sub, and then let's bring Klee in. It doesn't get much game time anyways. Ailing is still here. I thought we sold Ailing. Oh, that's a bit mad. Well, I kind of screwed that one up. All right, anyways. So that will be the squad that we end up using. I think that'll be, uh, that'll be a good setup. So first order of the day is to go play Wolves in a full sim match. I'm assuming we're going to get absolutely smashed. They've got a five of the back setup. Yeah, of course they're running a five of the back setup. That's a strong team too for the FA Cup, isn't it? Oh, well. Yeah, let's see how many goals we end up conceding here, dudes. Let's see. I'd be very, very, very interested to see. Whoa, we got into... There's no way. There's no way we get through this, boys. There's absolutely no way this happens. What a crazy-ass own goal from the Sim. Okay. Oh, we are getting battered right now. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Five shots to zero. And we're winning somehow. This is the most FIFA scoreline I've ever seen. Oh, God. There it is. Yeah. I mean, shouldn't be too surprised by that. Team is uh, is strong. 1-1. One, one, fully deserved for Wolves. Oh, my God. Look at how many players. This is, like, literally playing champs. Oh, there's no... Oh! Oh my lord! Let's go! Wow! Hey, that's huge, man! Come on. Can we hold on to this? Can we hold on to this? Nope. Yes! That's it! That's game! It has to be! No way the under-23s did this! Hey! Pure luck, boys. Pure luck, but we'll take it. Let's go! City won. Man United won. Chelsea won. We beat Wolves. Or is it, is it a two-legged affair? No, it's not, right? The last thing you want is an injured cock. I know. Thanks. Suffered a broken tibia out for seven months. Literally becoming our most important defender as well. He's developing even better than Lorente. Even though he's been really bad at the start of the year, he's done so well. Oh my god, dude. That is insane. So there's the Chelsea uh, squad, if you will. They got Umtiti? Oh, fair play. He left Barca, I guess. Maybe it helped out with their wage bill. Finally, Conte at right wing. Sick one. Absolutely, absolutely sick one, dude. That's, that's hilarious. And you know what's crazy? Is Conte will ball out there. He'll be the best player by far. Um, okay, so I think everything else there is set. Good to go. Maybe they adjust in game. Maybe they switch in game. Doesn't look like they they really do, but you never know. Conte best ringer winger in the world. And you know what? That's not it's not inaccurate. It just is not inaccurate, is it? All right, big game, boys. Let's go. What? Was that with his right foot? Well, he's gone for pure power, and why not when you've got a rocket in your boot? What a strike! Oh, oh my God, bro, that is a sick goal. That's probably the best goal we've seen scored this entire career mode. Hakim Ziyech is a baller, you know. Two-star weak foot OP. Hey, man, come on, bro just complimenting you. You don't have to do me dirty with the celly. What are we doing? Oh, this is good though. Patty, have it! Oh, is that Shields Youth? Nice play though. 45th minute OP! Again! Oh, this game is so bad! <laughs> Let's go! I, I had a feeling if we drove at the net in the 45th minute. What cheese! It's Umtiti the donkey as well. Oh my god. Let's go, Patty. Let's go. Look at this, man. What a beautiful goal Chelsea score. And look at what we score. Oh, my God. That is so bad. Hey. You win some, you lose some. Right, boys? It is off of Umtiti's boot. Into the top corner, too. Top net, best net, boys. Let's go. 1-1. One, one. We're back in it. No way. Rodrigo! I mean, you beat a defender very nicely and then just panic fired into the next defender. That's 
that is what we are missing at Central Cam. Unfortunately, at this point, we now have to wait till the summer to really look for a purchase. I wonder if there's anyone uh, in the Bundesliga that would be worthwhile, like a Danny Olmo. I, I, I don't think Danny Olmo's that realistic unless we make Europa League. Danny Olmo, a pickup of him would be pretty sick. Rodrigo, bro. Rodrigo's really good in the cam role as, as being a second striker. You know where he plays the pass to Bamford and then runs in behind and Bamford plays him in and then he scores. But creatively, dribbling-wise, Rodrigo is so bad. <laughs> in fact, we'll probably concede here before I'm even able to do this. Um, do we bring on Dallas for Firpo? I don't think we do. I think that's actually not the best call for now. Just keep it like that. Oh, Ailing's match sharpness, though. That is a ball. Unfortunately, Firpo has nowhere to go with it. Shield Z! Oh, oh, back to him! Oh my god, this is actually sick. Play Rodrigo! Yeah, yeah! Ruffy! Bang it, Ruffy! Is he gonna pass? He's gonna pass! Oh! Unlucky! That was actually sick play, dude! Oh my god! That was nice to see. Oh. Oh my god, Ruffy on the run! Oh, Patty didn't see it, man. Oh god, the brain dead force pass. It worked somehow because this game is broken. Come on! Patty, what are we doing? Oh my god, is that not a foul? From Umtiti? Well, this is one you want, want I was thinking maybe we'd have a free kick there for Rafi to bang. Oh, God. Let's go, Luke. That is a big, big tackle there, man. Play backwards. Backwards. Don't force it forward, man. Come on. Hold on, boys. Please. Please. Defensively, we've been legit good. Oh my god, we're going to concede the way we did in the 45th. Or school. Oh, Laurenti, big block. Blow it, ref. Blow my whistle. Please. No, you know what's coming. You just know. Come on, big defensive big defensive play. Come on, Pascal. Let's go. Away. And away again. Oh god. Oh, we'll take it. We'll take it. Once again, I don't know that we deserve the draw. My god, we are scraping wins right now in draws. There's... This might be a bit crazy to say, but genuinely, I think in our last 5 to 10 games, there hasn't been a game where we've deserved points. Instead. Dude! That is mad from Hyungmin. I mean, that's pretty terrible goalkeeping, it looks like, in hindsight, but Hyungmin, dude. Jeez. What a absolute god, dude. Right, so, are Chelsea doing the exact same thing? They're still running a five of the back with Kante at right wing. Mental. All right, under 23s <laughs> in the FA Cup. What is, what is this? Round of 16? No, it's not even the round. Is it the round? No, it's not the round of 16. Whatever it is. Round of 8? I don't know, bro. What, round of 27? Whatever. Whatever it is. Just going to go all out attack and see what happens, man. Conte about to slap us up, boys. Virginia winning. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh! There it is, one nothing. Too good, man. I mean, what are we gonna do, bro? <laughs> what are we gonna do? Oh my god, we are legit getting dominated. Holy moly. I was trolling Werner, but there you go. Yikes. Not doing anything with it, unfortunately, because we literally have 10 players to go through. Bang it, Gelhart. Oh, unlucky. Oh, oh it's a, I thought it was a pen. De Vries ain't going to hit this, that's for sure. Van de Bosch just scored a free kick. He's got about 12 frees. He literally has... 
12 to 37 free kick stats. Total. In terms of long shots, free kicks, accuracy, etc. Wow, Van der Bosch, man. Maybe we don't. Well, I think it's a bit too late now. We have to loan him out, don't we? There's no way we tie this up, bro. We are literally playing like Prime Barca. Galha! What the fuck? Oh my god! What is happening? <laughs> what? Our under 23s play better football than our full starting 11, dude. Not even kidding. Gelhart with that layoff to Vandebosch is ridiculous. I'm going to keep them all on the field, man. I know they're all gassed out, but... Ah. Oh, 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 oh. oh. This is mad. So what? It goes to extra time, right? Oh my god, dude. Hold on a second. So what do we do here? I don't even know. Oh, I guess we. this is what we're going to do. Okay, we're going to bring on Harrison. And that is... <laughs> uh, Galhart's tired, so let's bring on Greenwood, I guess. Whew. All right. Let's keep it going. Do it. Wait, oh, it was offside. Oh, my God. Wait, no, big mistake again from our team. There we go. Good recovery. Pascal, Pascal is running things defensively right now. Big bounce. No way. No way. Oh, big block. Big block. Bro, I'm more into this than I am the, the regular long sim. This is wild. No, it won't. I just, I jinxed it. I'm an idiot. N'Golo Kante scores the winner. No, never a doubt. Oh, well. You got to give it to the under 23s, man. What a performance. Taking it all the way to the 120th minute, minute against Chelsea. Maybe we get one final push here, but I think that's going to be it. Yeah. GG. GG, Chelsea. Good game. Good game. That's as far as we could go. Spurs beat Fulham. City beat West Ham. And I don't know what happened with Man United. Uh, oh, there you go. United won on pens. So that's your, uh, that's your semifinals. So we got... So this is a perfect game right here, boys. To test out the uh, extended sim, not the live sim. Van de Bosch has agreed a one-year loan move to Bournemouth player. Well, okay, that's okay. De Vries loan offer now, too. See, De Vries is a guy I kind of think I want to keep developing, man. I'm going to just reject it. I think De Vries is, is someone we keep, man, because he'll, he's developing into a sick cam. So this is what I want to run with. And then let's uh let's sim this game. So what are they? Are they what are, is this a four three three? Yeah, it's a holding four three three. Interesting. That might give us some trouble with because of how uh, aggressive our attack is. All right, let's see. Let's see how we do. Oh, dude. Oh, why do we play so well in these like these this sim, but not in the live game? Why? Why is that? Look at this press. Oh, God. It's gorgeous. Oh, my God, dude. Unbelievable. This is actually more exciting than the live sim. I just wish we would get goal highlights. Like, imagine we could watch this, but then you'd get the goal highlight, too, of, of how the goal was uh, structured. That would be such a cool add-on for career mode next year. Is exactly this. But any marquee moments, you can select to, like, see the highlight of it. I'm not saying jump into the game itself, but just see the highlight. I think that'd be so cool. Oh. Pen? Oh, it's a pen! Come on, Rafi! Oh, I wish we could have seen what caused the pen, man. Come on, Rafi. He missed it! No, Rafi! What are we doing, bro? gonna get we're gonna keep it a bit more narrow keep it safe i think we'll still be able to play good football look at this oh this is insane well i mean i guess slightly unfortunately bringing on the youth didn't really create anything rafi missing a pen tail end of the game there though that was a good performance chelsea lost that's even better hold on let's go look at the table yes sir that's huge they do have a game in hand oh damn wait no we just need to get seventh right we just need to get seven. Oh my God, though. Look at Leicester. Oh my God. Leicester and Arsenal are both knocking on Europa League. Oh Lord. Okay, so we absolutely do not have um, Europa League locked up. My bad. Uh, main team again. Against Southampton. So again, another game where I think we're going to start testing out just these straight up sim matches. 
Bore, Adams, DJ Nepo's in there. Tella, I don't even know who that is. Vestigard's still there. Lester picked him up, right? In real life? Anyways. See how we do. I mean, dude. Yeah, the fact that we're in a Europa League fight right now is sick. I didn't think we'd be there this year. Especially with the lack of signings. And with the signings that everybody else made. Come on. Come on. Play him back. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's go, boys. Rodrigo with the one nothing, 16th minute goal. Love it. There it is. Oh, that is a pass. Batty Cakes. Play him. Yes. There we go. Can you believe that in this game mode like this, they actually play intelligently? How many times do we watch those passes, those through balls just get ignored when we're in the long sim? Man, it just goes to show how in how dumb in-game AI is, man. It makes me sad, bro. Okay, another 2-0 scoreline. So again, I know this isn't the best uh, move, the best idea, if you will, but we're going to do it. Uh, we're going to bring on Gelhart again. We're going to bring on DeVries again. And we're going to bring on Drame. I'm confident at 2 nothing, man. I, I am. I'm very confident at 2 nothing. It's with Musa Jenepo. Can they get in behind them? At times they make passing look easy. Ah, it's going to be a goal. Oh, my God. Incredible defensive work from uh, Lorente there. Oh, I mean, you almost felt like it was coming, too. Yikes, man. What do we do here? Um, do I have to make adjustments here? Rafi, DeVries, Jones, Shields, Firpo, Drame. No, we're good. Melier, what a save, man. What a save. That could be that could be the game winner, really. Nope, just kidding. Good tackle. God, help us all. Oh, ho, ho, we're getting dominated by freaking... 90th minute, man. 90th minute that has that has ea dda written all over it dude oh my goodness oh that's a huge drop off of points man maybe at two nothing we should have kept all the players on the field that's poor okay so wolves and arsenal have now dropped off of the europa league chase so chelsea does have a game in hand and if they win they do leapfrog both leicester and us Oh my god, yeah, dude, we might still bottle the Europa League. Oh god, we got Man United again? No! I don't want to play them again. You can't make me play them again. I don't want to do it. Oh god. Alright. Well, are we going to get smashed by Man United again? There's the starting setup. Oh my god, what? Oh god, they got Maguire and Varane in the setup. We're going to get destroyed! Oh god, did you see that? Bro, hold on a second. I need to just take a quick double check of that lineup. Is that a real lineup? Shiro Immobile, Bruno, Rashford, Sancho, Matic, Pogba, Shaw, Maguire, Varane, Basaka, De Gea. Hey, bro, what the hell is that? I mean, the only more horrifying thing to see would be maybe Fred instead of Matic, but I think they're, I think Ollie's trying to have them set up to be a little bit more uh, defensively sound. Oh, we're, this is going to actually be a 5 1 result, isn't it? Oh, that's cool, dude. Because I didn't already have enough pain this weekend. Or this past week, whatever you want to call it. Oh, no! Ah! Why did that have to bounce back to the Man United player, man? This game is infuriating. Come on. Come on. What the fuck are we... Man, we are trash, dude. We are legit trash. Paul Pogba. Maybe we get one push up the field? One cheeky push? No? Well, just one is minute nice. Curtis knows. Oh my god. Imagine? Imagine. No, Rodrigo is a donkey. Wait. 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 Rodrigo's not a donkey. He's not a donkey at all. Edit that out, Armalika. Edit that part out. Edit it out. Edit it out. Yes. Definitely not 45th minute cheese. The only way we score against the top six is legitimately 45th minutes and 90th minutes. Let's go, Rodrigo. It's okay. YouTube didn't hear me calling him a donkey at all, dude. It's fine. I told you, he scores. It's just decision making and passing in the midfield as an actual cam is terrible. Doesn't matter when he's scoring, though. 
Let's go. All right. Let's go, boys. I would love another cheeky goal here. I really would. I really would. This has kind of been an absolutely nothing game. I mean, we absolutely are trying to uh, shithouse a win here. Again, I would probably take a draw. I know it's that's... I don't want to have that small club mentality, man. But considering the 90% championship batches we have in the setup. Now, Jones and Lamptey are developing nicely. But they're still at that, like, low to mid-70s rating. So, that might be a foul. That's not a foul? I'm pretty sure Calvin... Oh, my God. Rodrigo with the terribly dangerous pass. Oh, Man United are absolutely on that uh, that press now. I don't know if the long ball is the right play, actually. I'm gonna, 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 I'm gonna do something a bit different again, tactics-wise. Just go balanced. That long ball is just there's no options, man, and we're overcommitting when we have a one nothing lead. Let's go back to balance and just see the player's talent shine. Come on, boys. Here we go. I mean, here it is. That's just Rodrigo being a donkey. Rodrigo being a donkey. Oh, big mistake! Rafi! Oh! Patty, you gotta take a touch, brother. You gotta take a little touch and bang. Just touch and bang, dude. Nice. Nice. Calvin, beautiful ball. And... I kind of like Patrick holding that up, though. And United playing Real. My God. Oh, yeah, they're in the, like, quarterfinals of the Champions League, too. What a result this would be, dude. What a result this would be. Come on, Shieldsy. Give us something to celebrate. That's a good idea from Patrick Bamford. That is a good idea. Okay, okay, we're gonna. Okay, no, this is we we got it. We gotta go extreme tactics. Don't hate me for this. If you're a Man United fan, please, please don't hate me for this. Okay. We're just trying to shut up shop here. <laughs> I am a twat. Uh, so we're gonna go Stewart here. We're gonna go. Uh. Ailing here, but swap him and Lamptey. That might be a bad call. Ooh, is that a bad call? No, and um, Jones is tired, so we're going to bring on Cleehy. Mm, yep. 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 Come on, boys. Come on, boys. What a result this would be. Come on. Well, Manchester United controlling possession here. But after that, it's been disappointing. I'd like to see them use those wide areas. Back to me, back to me. There we go. Composed. Love that. Love that. Someone going to show for a pass there to Rafi? Oh my god, that high press though. No, we can't be wasting possession like that. Love that from Junior Firpo. Made amends. Come on. Come on. Man, United are a bit gassed, man. They've been on high press pretty much the whole game. No one showing for a pass to Shields. That's fine. Apparently, uh, he's 17 years old and will hold up the play all on his own. Shieldsy! Oh, he didn't see the pass, did he? He didn't see that pass across. Oh. Oh, this is a concern. We haven't even had the subs on yet. 83rd minute, still no break in play. Come on. No! You know Chiro's gonna score here. Look, everybody's standing off. Why? Let's go, Pascal. Thank God, dude. I swear the game just makes your players so stupid at times. What a counter! Come on! They're gassed out. Rafi, it's all you. Rafi! Yes! Let's go! Oh, God. I wish this game would imitate reality, dude. Or I wish reality would imitate this game. Oh, my God. Let's go, boys. What a counter. Woohoo! This shit housing has worked! Can you believe it? Look at this counter, all the gassed out United players. Wow, he tucks that under De Gea, that's mad. Hopefully Bielsa's taking notes, boys. Hopefully Bielsa's taking notes. <laughs> Let's go, Rafi, even though that looks nothing like Rafi. Oh. Well, it's a little bit late, but the subs are coming on now. Come on! All leads are we, boys! What a way to end off the epi today! Woo-wee!
Love that. I think the end of the season is going to be next epi too, so we'll really get to see if we hold on to the Europa League. I mean, what a result this is though. Did we draw to Chelsea today too? A draw to Chelsea and a win against Man United. Yeah, a surprise draw to a couple of the lower end teams is, is, is a bit heartbreaking. To Southampton hurts the most, but a draw to Southampton and a win by 2-0 against Man United, who are literally in the semi-finals of the Champions League, is the most Leeds United result ever for us this year. This is exactly what we've done this year. We beat Liverpool and then go on to lose to West Ham and, oh God. The, the only thing about our performances this year, I'll say this right now, is the consistency in our inconsistency, unfortunately. So, GG Ollie, they smashed us first game of the season. We got them back. Um, second matchup of the season very very happy with that man what a freaking result and what a way to end off the episode so yeah that's with the players we have and the personnel we have i think that's exactly the type of result you want man jones with an assist rafi and rodrigo with the goals patty cakes with the assist too like it's just an all-around um fantastic result from the team man west ham lost to norwich liverpool beat chelsea city won liverpool beating chelsea helps us out for the europa league as well look at that man two points uh into sixth as well everton are pulling away in fifth but that's okay that's all right man fantastic result all around for us boys look at that wow liverpool are making a late run as well for the uh for the league spurs liverpool and city locked in and I mean, to a big extent, I think Man United, we almost did Everton a, a favor there, huh? Who do Everton have next? Man, you have Crystal Palace, so they'll probably win that no matter what. what do, who do Everton have next? They've got Villa. Where's Villa in the table? Oh my god, what is up with Villa? Damn, bro. Well, it's Watford, Brighton, and Norwich that are getting relegated. That's, that's pretty much for sure. Damn, Spurs beating City this weekend. And getting champions league in our career mode as well kind of mad kind of where's arsenal just just for the memes because i know 10th i mean you know that's kind of expected at this point isn't it boys so it is what it is um yeah wow man i'm actually very 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 impressed by this team so just to finish things off here let's get the uh the training going once again thank you very much to whoever suggested to put your second team before you go into training and then it puts all your players that have super low sharpness uh is this connor casey's a loan offer uh, ollie casey yeah 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 i know wait reject delegate okay whatever I'm okay with him going. He's not going to get any feature time at all. So that's fine. Um, I need more games. Yeah, I know, Stuart. I know, bro. I don't blame him. We'll have to... We'll, we'll play him next game. We'll give uh, Jones a rest. So for next episode, boys... Um, we're into April. Yeah, well, damn. So next episode, we've got Bournemouth up next. Which is going to be pretty pretty exciting i think the adjustment to what we're doing now is great so we're doing unless it's a top six matchup or someone that you would consider a top six so a leicester or a chelsea basically even the top eight best teams in the league we're going to do the live long form simulations of the bournemouths the southamptons yes there's going to be some shock results there but uh those types of games we're going to do the 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 short the new simulation setups this year that i'm actually having a lot of fun with i find it more realistic actually i i find that we play beautiful football there oftentimes you have the heartbreaking results like we did against southampton today but overall generally that game against Chelsea, how the under-23 squad took it all the way to the 120th minute. I think it brings in a little bit more drama and a little bit more fun as well. And it also kind of does allow us to get through. Um... Wait, what is... Of course. Wait, what is... Why, why is Rafi complaining? Of course he's in the starting 11. Yeah, that's, that's a bit weird. So, anyways... That's going to be it for the episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. In terms of a quick look at uh, our players' developments, we'll go from maybe highest to lowest. So Rafi is now up to an 86. Um, I don't know why he's stagnant on some things. We're going to have to look at that next episode. 83 for Junior Firpo, dude. In one season, he's gone from a 78 to an 83. The growth for this man 
is absolutely insane. Calvin Phillips, it says deep lying playmaker. It, does the check mark mean it's done? He's 81 rated, five star skills. I would love to work on the, let's look at the development plan here. Deep lying playmaker. So it says 30 weeks. What does that mean exactly? Maybe we work on Anchorman now? Is that done? Okay, so maybe we start working on Anchorman for uh for, for Calvin then. 30 weeks to reach 82. Oh. Is that what that is? Oh. I see. Oh, that kind of makes a bit of sense then. Anyways, I'm going to work him on Anchorman. I do want to get that weak foot up. I do find he forces it awkwardly on his right sometimes when he shouldn't. He does that pirouette pass instead of just using his left foot. So we'll work on that. Rodrigo, as expected, has gone stagnant. But four-star, five-star, huge. Both him and Patty Cakes on five-star weak feats is. Um, Lorente, 27 years old. I don't know if... Uh, yeah, he's kind of just like locked up, right? That's what that's whatever that means right he's kind of locked into his position uh robin where's robin at in terms of his development because he's doing well i know well he's injured now right yeah that sucks never mind he's injured now isn't he for until next season um jack harrison so he's still working on the inverted winger thing i think we're eventually going to end up selling him so the five star weak foot is boosted um I wonder if we give him five star skills too. 22 weeks, 22 weeks, 39 weeks, 17 weeks. Maybe let's work on the five star skills for him too. Yeah, let's do that. Melier, Ballin. Oh, I wonder if the Sweeper Keeper is done for Melier or close to being done. Seven weeks away. No, sorry. That's incorrect, right? Work rates and stuff though is so weird to me. I think I'm just gonna keep him on the sweeper keeper right now. That's that's it's upgrading the stuff that we want. So again, Bamford is now locked in on whatever he's done, right? Bamford's another one now where no matter what we do with him, we're kind of uh we're kind of locked in. 18 weeks to a 79. Yeah, nothing really changes there, unfortunately. Skill moves aren't really gonna improve or anything. So that's unfortunate. Um so Lamptey has not grown at all, man. It's kind of wild, isn't it? Three weeks to a 76, though, so that's kind of a W. Can we change anything at all for him here? Four weeks, three weeks, five weeks. Wide back. Wouldn't mind working on the weak foot. Wouldn't mind working on the weak foot at all, actually. Yeah, let's work on the weak foot. Four weeks to get him to the next rating. I That's crazy that I had no idea that that's what it was. Isn't that insane? Um... Okay, so we got him on high, high work rates now, which is sick. Although, actually, I think he was on high, high work rates the whole time. Box to box. Playmaker. I wouldn't mind giving him a five-star weak foot, too. Four weeks. But maybe we do that for now. Let's work on that for now. Boost him up to a five-star weak foot. I think that'll be huge. Not that I want to cheese it and have every player be a five-star weak foot, but I do think it's kind of important. Uh, development, development plan for shields now. Um... 15 weeks, 16 weeks, 13 weeks. Wouldn't mind doing something like this. I think Shields is def like his his passing stats are already good as it is. Right? I find that the inverted winger boosting his shooting might be a good good move. 13 weeks too. Yeah, let's do that. Let's start working on Shields' shooting because he's becoming more and more important. Uh, for the club both these guys are stalled now it doesn't really matter anymore pascal so he's up to a 74 um i still think this is a really really good setup for him i really do i mean again a five-star weak foot is always a good a good option maybe we work on the five-star weak foot let's do that let's do that uh Cleahy, stuck somerville up to a 71 now doing well in spain 
Barry is... Barry scored a banger of a free kick in Poland in real life. That was pretty cool. I, I, I watched that randomly. Uh, Pavetta's doing fine. Berardi is stuck. So, duh, let's have a look at this DeVries. A lot of you guys are suggesting we try and develop him into a cam because of his stats. I don't, I don't, I don't hate the idea. The only problem is, look at this, right? Wait, two weeks? Wait, again. Two weeks means he is, is his next upgrade, right? Should we try and make him a cam? This DeVries could develop into... We've got a couple of academy players that could be our future uh, creative cams. Wait, and I'm getting... Two weeks does indeed make him a cam? Send him into cam. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Maybe we've accelerated his progression because he's got so many starts now. Uh, so, Van de Poel... What do we got going on for him? He's a playmaker. Shackleton still ball winning. That's all good. Um, oh, yeah, no, it is. Okay, center mid to cam is that time. Up to a 70 rating is that time. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, we're starting to figure things out here. I'm a bit of a donkey when it comes to this stuff. Gelhart's still doing okay. Van de Bosch is such a baller, dude. Such a baller. Do we need to adjust his development plan at all? Yeah. Yep. I think working on his actual work rates is big. Getting the attacking work rate specifically up is huge, I think. Wide midfielder might be the move. Yeah, let's get him on wide midfielder. Get those work rates going. Uh, Drama is still doing well. Still developing well. Um, again, might actually be worth adjusting things even for him. Weak foot being boosted would be nice. Turning him to high, high work rate would be nice too. I can't really decide which would be better though. Boosting that pace. Let's go inverted wide back. Why not? Greenwood still doing pretty well for us. Uh, boosting the skill moves would kind of be nice, though. Yeah, let's boost the skill moves up for Mr. Greenwood. Uh, BD is on Sweeper Keeper, whatever. We'll just let him develop that way. Cresswell, Bossman. So there's another one. He's in the Advanced Playmaker. Um, Bossman's doing okay, right? I think, yeah, we've got him on the loan list right now. Yeah, getting him on 5 star, 5 star is going to be mad good. Going to be mad good. His stats are awful, by the way, but whatever. Maybe maybe one for the future, potentially. Martins is out on loan, or at least on a loan list. We haven't really been too concerned um, with him. Maybe boosting him to a 4 star weak foot. Might help out that price tag down the road. And then Phillips is another one. I'm okay with inverted winger for Phillips. So hopefully that's a good little review for you guys at the end of the uh, epi on all the players, their development. I mean, of course, for those of you that may have missed it, our academy is doing crazy right now. We're just banging out um, beast player after beast player. Look at Van Liet, man. Like this Van Liet guy is going to be another god tier uh, box to box mid or creative cam as well. Like we're churning out creative cams and box to box mids like it's going out of style. 81 to a 94 potential there, 81 to a 94 there, insane, insane. So on that bombshell, we'll catch you beauties on the flip side for the end of the season next episode. And then we got to start planning for summer recruitment and what the hell we're going to do to try and get the squad depth up for a hopeful Europa League run. Peace.